What's up guys, Sammy from Knuckleball Twins here. Today I'm going to attempt to fix these four official match balls. I have recently fixed the speed sell off camera and we're going to use the same method I used to fix this one with these four here. Stay tuned to find out how we do it. So off camera, I managed to fix the speed cell. I couldn't believe it, but basically we took out the valve, which is in my hand now. And when we took it out, we noticed a massive split in the middle of the valve. And obviously that's why the ball wasn't holding air. So what I've done is I've bought a few new valve pieces, one of which is in here. And now after pumping it up, the ball holds air. Regardless of what we do with the footballs today, they might not hold air because they might have some wear and tear in them, which ultimately means that the air is escaping the ball in other ways, not just through the valves. With this speed cell, we have had it for a long time. We've used it on 3G pitches and you've got to consider the fence behind the goal and all of that. And you can tell that the football has picked up a bit of damage. You can see where we've attempted the sealant method in the valve there. We did that back in April 2020, I believe, and that did not work. Similar to the speed cell, all of our footballs pick up damage along the way. The orange Jabulani here has got a few scuff marks like this. The valve itself has actually moved slightly out of place and that actually might be the reason why this ball isn't pumping up properly anymore. And we haven't used this ball since our despicable dead ball video, which was probably two years ago now, I think May 2019. So this is the most important part of the video, so I suggest that you stop 10 seconds skipping now <laughs> and pay attention to this. In this part, I'm going to explain to you exactly what you need to fix an official match ball. So the first piece of equipment we need is the crochet hook. This is a four millimeter one, but I don't think the size matters too much. And you're going to need this to pull out the old valve in the football. Second piece of equipment is obviously going to be the valve itself. I got these from eBay. I'll leave the link in the description. You need Vaseline as the third item the valve piece as we've already mentioned, and a pump. So I've got my crochet hook. We're gonna put the hook straight in to the valve itself. And with a bit of force, you're then going to attempt to pull the valve out. Oh, geez. <laughs> That's interesting. So you can see the white stuff there. It's gone all fluffy now, but that's the sealant that we put in. The valve piece is now out, big hole in the Jabulani. So one thing that hasn't been mentioned at all in this video is that I am slightly anxious by doing this process, purely because these are official match balls. They're very expensive and rare, pretty much extinct these days. The valve is out and now we're going to put in the new one. So first thing we need to do is get our Vaseline and Get a healthy amount and we're just going to apply it to the valve piece so now we can put the valve piece in the ball like so once you've applied vaseline to the valve just put your thumb down and put pressure all the way down on the football until the valve piece slots in oh oh, oh there we go and that looks great now let's try and pump this up i've inserted a needle of the pump Let's see if this works. Okay, so there's no hissing noises. Oh my days. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> we finally upgraded our GoPro. You'll see this in the GoPro Hero 7. Not amazing, but it's better than what we had initially. I can actually see a screen to film with now. So there we go. <laughs> so we're here at the pitch now. We have performed the same fixing methods to attempt to fix all of our official match balls. You are now going to see which ones have worked with the process. Quick summary as to which footballs were able to be fixed. No, no, yes, yes, yes. I will take three out of five. Let's do some free kicks. Amazing. Go on, my son. So the orange Jabulani and one of our OG Jabulani's doesn't hold air anymore. There's no point showing you, but basically when you pump them up, they lose the air within minutes. So I'm gonna have one shot with each, just for a laugh. 
Flatterball. So this is our first ever Jabulani. It's amazing that it's been able to hold the air after replacing the valve. Let's give it a go. Moving on to the speed cell, the Women's World Cup ball. I haven't kicked this ball in years. It's been a very long time. I'm excited to see if it's able to hold the air as well. Wrong goal again. <laughs> Last but not least, the Team G's 2. Our first ever official match ball. Bought it for 25 quid back in 2012. Absolutely crazy to think of it as being that cheap when it's extinct pretty much now. This is very precious, so I'm really hoping that it holds the air. Okay, let's get some more shots. I have missed the Team G's. <laughs> wow. As if that's the last shot. So there we have it guys, all done for the day. I'm absolutely delighted. I can't believe that we've got three out of five that have worked. Replacing the valve has worked, I'm so buzzed. I'm, I'm in shock. No, I can't believe it myself. I feel like you forget how old these footballs are as well. They've been yeah. well, manufactured years and years ago. We haven't used them for years either because they've been punctured or damaged. We still kept them, Sammy's fixed them, and yeah, amazing. So yeah, proper, proper buzz, man. Proper buzz. And hopefully they will remain inflated. So three of the five have worked, so that's a real positive. Not too sure why the orange Jabulani and why one of the other original Jabulanis aren't inflating. If you have any ideas as to where I possibly went wrong at all, or any tips, put them down in the comments because yeah, oh sure, it'd be yeah. great to know there is a possibility that we've missed something so please let us know thanks to just knuckle it and all you guys in the description for helping us out knuckle it like subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next time if you're still here with us we've legit just stopped and we can assure you that the three footballs that we've used have maintained oh. what doesn't matter, it's funny. Look at that and you sky. get to see that, Charlie Phelan. And that sky, look at that. That's Click crazy. One of these end cards to so continue watching our stuff. Subscribe as well if you're new. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Enjoy that sunset. <laughs>